it's not an adventure bike if you don't have the confidence to take her on an adventure. It's like having a trophy wife or a frigid trophy wife that you can't put any miles on. Kind of useless, right? So if, it, if you can't go on an adventure, it's not an adventure bike. The primary thing was the on-off throttle that pretty much everyone's aware of, and the solution is the Vortex ECU. The on-off throttle was super sketchy and dangerous in the tactical areas, and you just had no control, uh, no slow speed maneuvering, and um, couple that with hate number two, which is the terrible stock tires, which were great on the street, but not so good in the dirt. So if you have on-off throttle with a super sucky tire, um, it feels like you were just, it just felt like you were constantly on, like maneuvering and managing black ice um, with on-off throttle on black ice is pretty much a suicide mission. So the third dislike would be the stock gas tank, which was only two gallons long. And it just depends on what kind of riding you were doing, obviously, but for me, I like to do a lot of trail riding, adventure riding, and pretty much converted this, this Honda into a, I guess a mini or super light adventure bike. So I needed to upgrade the gas tank. Uh, that small gas tank, it's like having a small bladder when you're on a road trip. You have to constantly be aware of rest stops along the way and it keeps you on a really short leash so it doesn't make for much of an adventure when you can only get 40 miles away and then you have to u-turn um, so that was pretty annoying and limited yeah i think that really limited my uh, exploration one like about the Honda would be the reliability factor. Um, you have had BMWs and KTMs, etc. And to me, uh, it's not an adventure bike if you don't have the confidence to take her on an adventure, right? It's like having a, it's a kind of a waste, right? It's like having a trophy wife or a frigid trophy wife that you can't put any miles on. So kind of useless, right? So if, it, if you can't go on an adventure, it's not an adventure bike. Number two greatest like of this bike is that it's fast. It's fast, it's powerful, it's got plenty of horses. Um, again, especially post Yoshimura pipe. This is after the upgrades. I mean, it, it, stock, it is fast, but uh, to fix the on off throttle, I had to get the Vortex ECU, uh, opened it up, uncorked a little bit with the Yoshi, and I even did the smog delete. Uh, this bike is plenty fun. Plenty fast, I think it's right up there with, with my KTM. Uh, the only difference would be just the caveat there, comparing that to the KTM for a moment. So I think it's about equal in the power now and the, and the mojo factor. Um, it's just, you can definitely feel the extra weight on this Honda. Um, and I've added some extra weight with luggage and a few other things, but it definitely doesn't feel as light motocrossy as the KTM. Um, but for an adventure bike, for a trail bike, and still doing lots of technical terrain, um, it's uber light, especially compared to, you know, the middle class T7s and such. And that's going to segue me into my final like there, the third like, is that this Honda CRF 450L makes a great uber lightweight adventure bike. Throw some luggage on the back. Upgrade that gas tank. I got the IMS three gallon now. And with the luggage too, you can store some extra gas obviously there uh, in the back as well. So you could be carrying, you know, easily up to four or five gallons of gas, no problem. And um, Scott steering damper on there. Um, so yeah, basically converted it into an adventure bike. Uh, I trailer it into remote areas and then I can ride pretty much forever. Uh, or as far as my energy can take me. The gas tank gives you so much, extends your leash uh, on those adventures. And of course the luggage, carrying water, food, and extra gas. IMS carrying extra gas. Uh, this is my lightweight adventure bike. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think 
when I get into technical terrain, uh, you, you never wish you had a heavier bike. You never wish you had any extra pounds on the bike when you get into anything even semi-technical. You never wish you had one more pound on that bike. You're looking for a bike that you can have fun, you can have technical fun, and you can have adventures on. You can also ride it on the street a little bit between trails. You don't want that extra weight, but you want to be able to, to handle the technical and you want the long haul adventures and exploration, this bike might be for you.